Shout out to the KJ fam. You're back once again rocking with Kristen and Jamil. And we are here again, you guys, with another mukbang. Not just any mukbang. What? Hey guys, today we're doing La Duca's Cafe, which is a delicious Ooh. Mexican restaurant. And we're doing some tortas from there. Yes. Oh, you guys, we came up on this spot. Kind of randomly looking just, you know, to see what restaurants were open and stuff you like that. You so serious with the explanation. I do have to. It's a, This is a serious listen. topic. I'm trying to get this in, is a okay? <laughs> I'm trying to get in the band. This okay. is a serious, serious it's, it's topic. It's very serious. <laughs> but no, we came across a place on Yelp. Uh, they got four and a half stars, you guys, mm-hmm. which was exciting to us. Yeah, it's um, really good. Yeah, it is. And I mean, I mean, there's a lot of places that get four and a half stars actually out this way. Yeah. Um, but this place looked incredible, mm-hmm. incredible. So we had to do it. We'll tell we you what's in our tortas yes. after we thumbnail and Absolutely. start eating. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Let's do a quick thumbnail okay. and let's get it. Oh, we have in. french fries on the back. You oh, yeah, french them. fries. Yeah, they for sure. Okay. We'll eat those too. Oh. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yes. One, right, two, two, three. three. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, guys, so the torta. Okay, so in Kristen's torta, what do you have? Okay, so my torta has chicken, which oh. looks like they do like a... Like I wish a, I had gotten yours. Like a crispy chicken. No, yours looks good. <laughs> yeah, so I have chicken. Good. I have chilaquiles, mm-hmm. which is like a fried like tortilla, Oops. I think it is. Uh-huh. Um, I have eggs. I have fried eggs on it, you guys. So it has good. lettuce. It has tomato. It has beans and avocado. Oh, man. You got hooked up. I mean, mine's incredible, too. Yours looks incredible. Yeah, mine's Yours incredible, too. like a meat lover. But so. I want it all. So mine is uh, carne asada in there. It's a cubana. So it's ham in there, car- uh, carne asada. Mm-hmm. Let's see. There's avocado. Mm-hmm. There's tomatoes in there, which I actually, I'm cool with the tomatoes today. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. they look incredible. Lettuce. Uh, some lettuce. Beans. There's some cheese. Yeah. Oh, beans in there. That's right. It should be. Refried beans. Um, I think it's, what type of cheese is that? It's called Oaxana. Oxana. Yeah, okay. Oxana cheese. Cheese. Huh? Mm-hmm. Well. I don't think that mine good. actually has avocado, so I was wrong on the avocado. Oh. But it has everything else. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it good? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. It's really good. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, my God. Is that really good? I'm going to have a bite. Yeah, same here. You got to switch. You got to mm. have a bite, too. Why don't we so, just do half and half? Let's do it. Oh, we'll, do we'll take a bite. Just make sure you like this. Okay. Make sure you like this. Okay. Um, so here's the thing. Mm. With this, the ham is really strong. So I definitely could taste a lot of the ham. Mm. I don't taste the cheese much on that bite. Um, and I don't really taste much of the steak there. Mm. I really don't taste much of that. But, I mean, you guys, that, look at that thing. It's incredible. Mm. The chilaquiles? <laughs> the chile, the chile, chiles. <laughs> Saying it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> are very delicious. And it pairs really well. <clears throat> it's got a cheese in it, and mm-hmm. then the um, the egg. You guys know me in a fried egg. Yeah. Well, I get down with the fried egg. Do people know that? I've have said you, it. I know before. you've talked about it before. Um. But supporters I don't, that have been with us for a while now. They know that. Yeah, that's true. I love a good fried egg on a burger or like a sandwich. That's for sure. And that rocks. Is it good? Is it, um, is it, uh, what is it? Over easy? Mm, yep. It is over easy? Or it's like over hard. Over hard. So that's not runny or anything. Do you want a quick bite before? Sure. Okay, I can feed it okay. to you if you want. Okay. Because it yours is messy the oh, way you grab it. Oh, you don't it. want tomatoes, huh? Yeah, why don't I grab that piece? Okay, well here, how about I move the tomatoes? Okay. Oh, you have jalapeno in yours too. Oh, I do. Mm-hmm. I didn't even taste it. Okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, there we go. Mmm. What do you think? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Right? Mmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of flavors in there. Oh. And it pairs really well. It does. The um, jalapeno isn't too hot at all. Mm-mm. You don't even taste jalapeno, really. Mm-mm. I really like it a lot. Okay. I tasted the cheese on this one. The cheese I taste. That's really good cheese. Mmm. Sorry, what were you doing? What were you I want to you to grab my other half, because I'm not going to let you have the one I've been eating off of. Why not? Let's have the one I'm eating off of. Because I'm going to have that half. Oh, you're okay doing that? Yes, I am. Okay. So I want you to try mine now. All right. I'll try it. <laughs> I feel like I'm being forced. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot. I know. It takes a lot to persuade. <laughs> 
This looks good. I think you're gonna like it. Let's see. You don't like it? Really? You can keep this one. Swear! <laughs> I'm not joking. Mine's so good! So. I thought you were gonna love it! Okay, don't eat it anymore then. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's fine. Here's the deal. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm gonna put that right there. You're a hater! <laughs> mm. Here's the thing. That's like, so good. It's not bad. Oh, let me to make sure this mic's on. Yeah, it's on. Mm. It's not bad at all. It's just that the the tor mm. is it the tortillas that are on there? There's tortillas on there, right? Chilaquilas. Oh, chilaquilas that are on there. Mm -hmm. That's what you were saying. Okay, those are really really strong. Mm -hmm. That's all I can really taste. I mean, maybe if I had hot sauce on that, which right away, I got some right here about to put on there. We got crystal. But, oh, but hold on a second. And top it too. Do you really like this? Yeah, but I like mine a lot too. No, but I, if you're okay, if you want to switch, listen. Okay, that's good. <laughs> This is how I feel. I really like mine, and I'm not going to give it to somebody that thinks it's subpar. It's, it's, no, that's how I feel about it, so. Out of 10, it's like a... Uh, oh, it's good. You guys, it's good. I'd give it a... Look, okay. Mm -hmm. It's... Uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't if have you, to If you guys are ever down in this area, I would say get that sandwich for sure. Try mm -hmm. it. Because it's really... It is good. It's mm -hmm. just that for how it looks, for how it tastes, it's okay. If that makes mm -hmm. sense. In my opinion. In my opinion. Kristen loves it, though. Jamil has... Yes. A lot of flavor. You have like a lot more flavor going on. Complexity yeah. of flavor. Absolutely. Yeah. I do have a little bit. Like I taste the cheese. Uh -huh. I taste the chili here. So I got the good creaminess of that yolk. Uh huh. But you have like a lot. You got. You can taste the meat and then the, the other meat for and then you get the jalapeno. Mm -hmm. and you get the creaminess of all the avocado. Like you got a lot of layers going on. You do. So. I agree. I can see why you really like it. Don't ever eat mine. <laughs> and insult. Uh huh. <laughs> Ever. Look. Mm, so Next good. time, you tell me the truth about that sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I knew what I was getting this into. This is why. Had me all excited looking at it. I was like, oh, this is You were incredible. all sad that you didn't get it. <laughs> I was like, why is this not adding up? As it's like in my mouth as I'm biting it. I'm like, this isn't adding up. I thought it, it, it looks incredible. No, it's good. It's it's really good. It's Don't a get me preference wrong. thing. I would, I would get that. You but... don't like chilaquilas that much also. We've well, had, I've had it before and I gave you a bite. Uh -huh. And you were like... It's okay. So, uh -huh. I don't think you're a fan. Mm hmm When I order from a restaurant. Mm. So, you're not a fan of it. I don't remember that. I do. Because I was mad I gave you a bite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. But, but you have napkins over there? Oh. No, because you always take them. Because the table's over here. No, I had them in the middle. Well, you have the whole napkin roll over there. It doesn't matter. So, what are you talking about? I had portioned out hella napkins. You only portioned I put them in the out. middle. And then they're gone by the time we start. Where's the middle here? <laughs> Do we have here, a place to put it? Me too. No, look how look how much room you have on I your side. Move. Look how much room I have on my side. <laughs> okay. <Calm down. laughs> Listen, guys, I'm treated very unfairly here. <laughs> no. Listen, just let me set up. <laughs> let the woman do her thing. Life will be good. Oh, and you guys, we also got. A taco from this place. Oh, yeah. It's a little um, beat up. Our door dasher had a little bit of trouble. Uh, that's a taco. They might not be able to see it. It looks really good. It, has it looks really a good. Lot of stuff. I'm probably not going to want it, though, because I think it will be full. Well, do you want to take a bite, though, really quick, before you do not, too much? Not really, unless the taco is, like, extra special. Okay, I'm going to take a quick bite, bite of it. I think I'm going to put some top of tea on this. Yeah, yeah, do it. Now, um, so what we got on, obviously, there's lettuce, tomatoes... Well, pico de gallo and stuff. Um, but I think, is this steak or is it yeah, carne asada? I got carne asada. Awesome. There's some carrots in there as well. Mm. Um, they're like pickled lettuce, or pickled um, um, carrots. Pickled carrots. Ooh, that was spicy. Is it? Wow. What, the pickled carrot? Yes. <laughs> wow, that was good. I don't know if you would like that. I want to say it said that it was like jalapeno pickled carrots or something. Ooh, that was hot. Uh, habanero pickled carrots. Oh, see that makes sense. I'm going in for a bite. Yeah. This is so good. Good. We're going back here. This place. This is so good. See, we're used to like taquerias. This isn't mm -hmm. a taqueria. Like this is a 
mm-hmm. a Mexican restaurant, so I feel wow that you know the the flavors are different, a little bit different. Yeah, the flavors are different. I think the recipes are different. Mm-hmm. I like the complexity of the ingredients. Mm. Uh, excuse me, in this place. Excuse me. Burped. Anyways, yeah, wow. I think it's very complex, like uh, ingredients. Really and, good. And you said you don't want any, right? Right. Cool. I'll take it. Honestly, <laughs> I just have to twist your arm for these. I'll handle it. <laughs> mm, I can't believe you don't like mine. It's so good. It's good. It is good, but it's like my better. Mm. But let me know, though, if you do want to switch, I would eat that. Mm-hmm. Trust me. Some hot sauce. Mm. It's going to be all good. Mm-mm-mm. I want to say something about a door dasher. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. I give directions every time. <laughs> of how to come bad directions to our mean. great directions, and I told <laughs> listen, <laughs> door dashers have said you give excellent directions on how to find your apartment. I mean, they said that to me multiple <laughs> occasions. Yeah, she she gets it all. She gets it often. Often when we do DoorDash, like majority of the time, people are like great directions. Like randomly, they say that. Mm-hmm. So for those of you who've lived in apartments, yeah, yeah, you, know, you have a big apartment complex. Sometimes it's hard to find the numbers, you know. It's not always, like, that easy. So, anyways. Mm-hmm. Story Dasher. I give clear directions. <laughs> and I start from the office building of our apartment complex, mm-hmm. which is the main address of our apartment complex. So, anytime you have an apartment complex and you give the main address, it usually takes it to, like, the office. Mm-hmm. Every apartment complex, not every, but usually a big one, will mm-hmm. have an office. Anyway. Yeah. I start out from the office. Mm-hmm. And I give directions on where to go. Exactly. Word for word, you know, steering wheel turn from steering wheel turn. Like, I am, I get compliments. Okay, anyways, this guy went to the wrong apartment and dropped it off at the wrong apartment. Because instead of going left when I told him, he went right. And he dropped it off the wrong apartment. And I knew he was going to the wrong apartment because you can see it on the map, you know? And so, and luckily we called him at the right time. I so called I him. Just dropped it off. I was like, "Hey, if you need help getting to like our apartment, let me know." He's like, "Oh, I just dropped it off." I was <coughs> like, and I looked outside our door, and I was like, mm, no, "No, you dropped it off at the wrong one." Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, you know." Yeah. And I was like, "Okay, it really helps if you start from like where the apartment office is." Mm-hmm. And he's like, "Oh, I, there were just you know, there's a lot of offices, and I couldn't <laughs> find it." There's, there's one office. There what are you talking office. about? There's not a lot of offices. Anyways, mm-hmm. I had to be on the phone with him for 10 minutes while his phone was cutting in and out. Finally, he found it. Yeah. Oh, oh. That was difficult. That was a difficult one. I just need people to listen to my directions. <laughs> That's all okay. I need. Your directions are subpar. No, it wasn't. If I was getting directions, no one would ever be lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but you obviously give good directions because... Mm. Like, randomly, like, the people will drop off the food. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least before, like, now they drop the food and they just leave. They don't even have the door, but or they don't even open the door, or they don't stay when you open the door. Because of what the pandemic. Exactly, everything going on. But before, they mm-hmm. would open the door, and they'd be like, great directions. Like, we were able to find, I was able to find this easy, and they're like, we get lost around this area. Mm-hmm. So that was really good directions. And, like, I mean, it happened, like, all the time. Like, we've door dashed a good amount of times. And I'm going to say, like, like 70% of the times they say that, like, <laughs> randomly, which okay. is pretty good. Yeah. Because then it's hard to find. And when you follow the directions, oh. you okay? Mm-hmm. I thought you were 2.30. Oh. <laughs> when you follow the directions, it gets you to our place, like, 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 but the, I do have like to say, an X on a map, you know? But I do have to say, because I, I, I did hear Kristen's directions. I looked at them. <laughs> and here's the deal. Yeah, he was trying to say they weren't good, but honestly, It's not that they're bad. I get great feedback. It's not that they're bad. Oh, God. It's just that it's not bad. And look, people said it's great, so I can't I can't talk. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> but here's the deal. But you did. But I am. And you are. But I'm going to. <laughs> the thing is, I can get how people can get lost because you start with if you're facing the office. Yeah. But if people maybe come a different direction, they might not ever get to be facing the office. But they won't come in a different direction if they Google Map. If they Google Map it. Well, well depending, right? Because they might actually... Come in a certain way, a different mm-hmm. way, and if or if they miss that or something like that, now they're mm-hmm. backwards. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's good, it's great. It's just not my direction. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just joking. It's it's really good, and it would be obviously it's probably the best that it can be done. I mean, that's probably what it comes down to. Yeah, it, it's tough. It's tough around here. It's the definitely best. tough to find a place. Yeah. And by the way, we know to check them and watch them because this isn't the first time. They've dropped it off at another place, mm-hmm. 
and we've had to go to that other place ourselves, <laughs> grab the food from the the doorstep, because <laughs> luckily the person didn't like grab the food, like the free food sitting outside. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so we had to do that one time, which was crazy. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, <laughs> oh yeah, we got to send you. Oh, so good. Send you water here. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. You sure you don't want to buy that? Oh, I'm getting full. Me too. I'm Are like you? really full, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to have a couple bites though, so. <laughs> so you guys, we have to tell you about um, the show we've been watching on Netflix called oh, yeah. Unsolved Mysteries. Mm. It's a reboot from like a yeah. 90s show. And I'm sure, it's kind of popular too, right now? Isn't it kind of popular? Yeah. I've seen some memes so on it. You guys should probably know because it's in yeah. the front. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Did Unsolved it's... Mysteries used to be on like Lifetime? Mm-hmm. No, it wasn't no. Lifetime, no. It was a Lifetime. It was on like daytime TV. Mm, like, okay. um, you know, you know, what channel, like four, five, six, all that stuff, you know? Mm. I think so. For those of you pretty sure. who are old enough, you know about it. It's yeah. It's really good. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, you know, can I say something about it too? Yeah. Well, let me say something really quick about it. It's sad because it's unsolved. It's so sad. That's kind of sad. Like, uh-huh. you want to resolve, you know? Uh-huh. You want them to be like, mm-hmm. but don't worry, this person's in custody. And mm-hmm. remember with, um, really quick, America's Most Wanted? Mm-hmm. Although the person was on the loose, at least you know who did it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> at least you know who's, who you're looking for. Yeah. But with Unsolved well, Mysteries, you know. Well, okay. Basically, <clears throat> Unsolved Mysteries, for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> give different stories of things that have happened back in the day. Mm-hmm. Where... Cases, uh, it's usually like murder cases, but not always. Mm-hmm. But murder cases where they go unsolved, and basically, mm-hmm. yeah, <clears throat> like Jamil said, oftentimes you don't 100% know who don't did know. it, like that's the point. Mm-hmm. Um, some you do, but there's some where you don't, and it is frustrating because it's sad that these like you know people they get killed and they don't, and you just you don't know, you know, and it, it leaves you with like this frustrating feeling like, how do you not? Mm-hmm. No, like, mm-hmm. I don't figure it out. And then, you, of course, you have your own theories as you're watching it. But it's really good, this new season. I mm-hmm. hope that they bring it back again. Oh, they will. Uh-huh. I mean, it's so good. Um, mm-hmm. We were watching one. This one was different because it was, like, aliens. We're not going to give it a... Well, we're going to talk about it a crazy. little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Mm-hmm. Aliens are real, guys. No, I'm just joking. I have no idea. <laughs> But they made it seem like it in this one. It was it was a so, good episode. So it was this, a really good episode. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. in this in this episode, they talk about something that happened in 1969. Mm-hmm. So most likely, I you know I'm sure it made news. Like I we he, uh, no, I doubt it made news. You know that it did. Uh-huh. No, I guess not. it kind of didn't no. the way they were talking about. It. Okay, maybe the don't stuff. Know that. Yeah, anytime there's some sort of mm-hmm. alien thing, it never made news. It never made news. Mm-hmm. There was all. It was sorry. In a remember. in a uh, the Phoenix Lights made news, mm-hmm. but as a joke, it didn't make news as a real story, like a real investigative Area 51 story. Fifty one made news. That did. You're mm-hmm. right about that. Mm-hmm. That was the first one that actually started making breaking news. But they changed it. They, they covered it up. Yeah, they covered it up. At first, it was a newspaper as a serious thing, and then they were like, "Ah, oh, let's take it back. It was a weather balloon." So I don't know, but but you're right. So sometimes they do, but they are very rare. They are very rare. So in this story, mm-hmm. so and if of you course guys... the new stuff today is now making news sometimes. Yeah, it does make news. Now the new, like the mm-hmm. new stuff, now makes news occasionally. They're bringing mm-hmm. it out more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but in this story, in 1969, yeah, is about this like suit, this small town somewhere. I forget where it is. Yeah, and um, basically in the U.S. though. Yeah, mm-hmm. and basically like. I don't want to give away too much, but yeah. basically like four or five different people, even more, I think, yeah. experienced one night different experiences with this air, this alien craft or UF, UFO. And a lot of these people didn't even know each other in the town. And also back in the day, you know, you didn't go telling people what happened mm-hmm. because you were... You're gonna sound crazy, you know. Yeah. I mean, you're probably still gonna sound crazy exactly. now, if, like something were to happen. Exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. So, but these people did not know each other. They had no, you know, uh, it was a small town, but not small enough to where you would know everyone. You would know everything because there was a lot of miles in between each. Yeah. Uh huh. But they met each other through this experience. Yes. Right. Uh-huh. In the experience. So I don't mm-hmm. want to spoil too much at all, but 
But it was crazy. Yeah, and people witnessed it. Like, so there was this one mm-hmm. boy yeah. who, oh, this is, like, this gives me chills. What's that? This one boy was at, his, like, a, a neighbor's house, mm-hmm. and they were hanging out. I think, uh, I don't know if his mom was working or something like that. Mm-hmm. But he was at his neighbor's house, and um, they were just hanging out. Mm-hmm. And, it was like, it was kind of the, throughout the night. And then all of a sudden, he says that he heard in his mind, oh. you need to go home now. Oh, you're talking about um, <clears throat> you're talking about in the, the show. You're not talking. Yeah. About, oh, okay. No, For some reason, I thought this, you were going somewhere else. No, this is the episode. Yeah, yeah. Yes. This boy, he's like eight, seven, nine, something yeah. like that. Nine, I think. Mm-hmm. He hears in his mind like telepathy. You need to go home now. Yeah. It freaked him <laughs> the heck out. You can yeah. imagine. <laughs> but he heard somebody say, "You need to go home now." Yeah. So he tells his girl, his friend, you know, who's mm-hmm. a girl. He's, he's like, "I need to go home," and she's like, "Why?" why? He's like, "I don't know. I just need to go I just home." Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> and his home was scary. on the other side of the property, like on this farm or something. Mm-hmm. But Don't spoil scared. too much of it, though. I can't, really? No, because people want to see it. Might want to see it. Well, I know, but I want to see what happened because it's freaky. Okay, say it. Okay, so if you, if you... Yeah, spoiler alert. You spoiler. can turn it off anymore. <laughs> and this isn't... This, I mean, yes, it's part of his experience, but he talks about it better. Yes. Anyways, he this goes is a home. spoiler alert. Okay. <laughs> God, sorry. <laughs> he's freaked out because obviously he's like, you know... Yeah. Who said that? But it was... He said it was extremely clear. Mm-hmm. Anyways, he he goes and he just runs. He runs. He's trying to go home. You know, again, freaked out. So he said, you need to go home now. He's like, whatever. I just want to go home. But he had know? an urge, too. He had an urge to go home. Oh, I thought he just like... Mm-hmm. It was also an urge. Oh, uh, so... Not he only... did freak out. Yeah. But and it he was heard also it. an urge to go home. Yes. Mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah. Yeah, Sorry, so yeah. he's running, like, across the way. Mm-hmm. He gets in between the house, and then the house, like, all the way over here. I forget how many yards it was away. Mm-hmm. It was quite a distance, but not too far. Mm-hmm. He's running, and then all of a sudden, he's running. And he says that he's running, he's running, he's running like this. And he's running, and he's not moving. Yeah. He says he's not moving. <laughs> well, he thought he was moving. Yeah, he thought he was moving. But somebody, the the fr- or the or whoever's house he was at, came outside and saw like, that or- he wasn't moving. Yeah. He was running in place. I'm getting chills. He saw stuff. He looked. He thought he was moving. Mm-hmm. He thought he was going. But she... <laughs> you're like... Freaked out. I know. It's scary. <laughs> so he's running, but going nowhere. Yeah. When he's like in the middle of this field. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he sees this light beam on him. Yeah. And then he sees this huge UFO aircraft, you know, up. He mm-hmm. says it was huge and he described it and everything. Yeah. And then, and his friend's watching it, right? I know. Yeah, yeah. And then, <clears throat> um, and then all of a sudden, this like, this energy happens. Yeah, and he just disappears. To right? where he says he 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 goes back, like his hands go back. Yeah. And he said it was this like, this fo- this force field. That's crazy. And he just couldn't move. Yeah. And then he says the next thing he remembers, he was inside this this UFO craft, next to one of the girls in the town. Who also That's has a story right. yeah, of her exactly. getting abducted. You know well, what I mean? Yeah, and I don't want to. I really don't want to spoil too much. Okay. But but yes, Sorry. I mean it's they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. They live. You know, and it's it's interesting because not only did this happen in 1969. Yeah. When it did happen, they didn't have full memories of it. Yeah. If that makes sense, they have bits and pieces. So, bits and pieces. Yeah. You know, time. They lose time. They kind of yeah. lost. 100% what was happening. Exactly, yeah. Okay, I won't give her away the rest. But yeah, he no, sees no. the girl in there. <laughs> That's... Like, she's there. Yeah. She's in the, the, the craft. Mm-hmm. You know? That was the part I was trying to keep. And oh. not spoil. Oh, really? That's no, okay. Oh, okay. Whatever. There's more. It's a lot more to it. It's, mm-hmm. it's really good. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, he, you know, he's fine. He comes... He comes back, he talks about how he comes back, and even mm-hmm. that's, like, crazy. Yeah. You know? No, it's pretty insane, you guys. I mean... I don't know. We're just observers. Did it happen? I don't know. Yes. Or could they make it up? I don't know. But no. it seems legit. No. Everybody's story was crazy. It seemed legit. There's another legit. story about yeah. a family. Mm-hmm. Also, something crazy happened, but oh, I yeah. won't tell you what happens, but oh, yeah. um, yeah, but come on. Like, all four of them, like, no. Mm-hmm. That, that, something happened. No, you're right about that. And in this town on this one night, same evening. Anyways, mm-hmm. everybody was like calling the the radio station. station. Yeah. It was or the radio, radio station, station at the time because that's like what you did. Mm-hmm. And that this, I think the guy said like they got hell of calls at the radio station, police yeah. station. Mm-hmm. Everybody thought like, what is going on? What's going on? on? Yeah. Like people are crazy, <laughs> you know. And a lot of these people who did say something and speak and spoke yeah. out 
were looked at as like crazy. Yeah, you know, exactly. That's like, right. don't go near them. Mm-hmm. Like, something. You know, because when you yeah. don't understand something. Sorry, I'm talking way yeah, too no, much. No, 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 I was just going to say, when you don't no. understand something, yeah. and something happens to somebody, and it's something that's very far out there, and a lot of people don't believe yeah. in it, or a lot of people are going to be like, this what? person's weird. Yes. I'm not talking to them. Exactly. Because it scares people. But now, right? For example, they have movies where mm-hmm. you can see, like, Mm-hmm. alien abductions and stuff like that so now it's not so hard to grasp grasp it right yeah 1969 then, you didn't really have that you didn't have any of that true. you're like what happened mm-hmm. who what something flying you know what I mean like <laughs> but what's crazy you know? is like in these movies now like Independence Day yep. okay I'm gonna give an example mm-hmm. Independence Day in, in the movie Independence Day the aliens were were using telepathy to speak to the humans oh, yeah. mm-hmm. and I remember thinking back in the day wow that's such a cool concept who thought of that yeah wow that director is really smart <laughs> or the writer whoever does it yeah <laughs> I feel they were using real experiences I you're know. not just gonna guess that aliens speak through telepathy I know because back in the day <laughs> like true. some of the movies that they show aliens speak their little alien language you know? yeah that's true they're not always using telepathy but the fact that they chose telepathy in Independence Day that's and true. telepathy was happening in, at least in this 1969 situation that's true and probably Area 51 people think I'm crazy I'm sure oh yeah and probably Area 51 <laughs> you know like they know that I guess my point is they know a lot more than they're saying exactly that's, that's true say. you don't have to believe in it <laughs> yes that's true and, and also, we want to tell you, too, about a meme that we saw, that Kristen saw, about uh, Unsolved Mysteries right. and how it relates to this conversation. And, <laughs> do you want to tell them it? Does, does it relate Remember? to the conversation? Yeah. Because yeah. you feel it. Well, good. It was funny. <laughs> okay, so there's a meme going around about Unsolved Mysteries. And it was like, do you think you can solve these mysteries? And it says, well, sitting on your couch, eating a bag of chips in your robe, <laughs> you know, with your hair not brushed in two days or whatever. And then it goes... Probably. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> because everybody has like an opinion, right? Yeah. Everybody thinks they can do it. Everyone feels like I know can. who killed him or I <laughs> I know what happened. You know, like, like we all yeah. we all have an opinion. Um, it's just, but it's funny because we're all like, you know, during this situation that's going mm-hmm, on, a lot of people mm-hmm. are at home, not working, you know, just that's having a lot true. of time on their hands. <laughs> you know, just like probably I can do it. I can figure exactly. it out, you know. It was really funny. Yeah. Well, the way they make these shows too, <laughs> they set it up where the person of um, of interest is in the show, so mm-hmm. it's easy to just be like, "Well, of course it's that person," you know, even though you don't know all the evidence, yeah, you don't know everything. There's always going to mm-hmm. be something that's missed that you didn't know. So it's really good. yeah, but it's good, you guys. And, and there's other there's that's like the only one that was like different. That was like an alien one, yeah. Everything else are like murders, murder mysteries, and like all sorts of crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, the the one I'm, and without spoiling anything, like there's a family that like disappears, mm-hmm. and like I mean, it's pretty clear who <laughs> who did it, you yeah. know. And the show and, mm-hmm. knows who did it. Kind yeah, of. the show suspects. Who did it. Yeah, they suspect. They mm-hmm. they should know. Who did they know it. without being true. You know. Yeah, they just they just don't know what a person is. Yeah, but <laughs> you it's know. Crazy. Crazy. And that doesn't spoil too much of it. They just don't. No, know. it doesn't. There's a big story. Yeah, but mm. it's just like. Ugh. Yeah, it's good though. Yeah, it's good. I just think you know, like I said, there's no resolve with it, which kind of sucks. Because then you're just like, I'm watching this, and it's just completely empty. You know what I mean? Or not? Or it's not closed. You know? I used to have a coworker, and I think I told you this. Her sister was murdered in the oh, '90s. Really? And she wow. was on, like, the ID channel on one of the shows. No way. I don't remember mm-hmm. you telling me that. Mm-hmm. And they never wow. found out. And it was, I think this was north in, like, one of the counties. Sorry count- about that. No worries. Okay. And one of the counties north of us. Yeah. And um, they never figured out who killed her. Really? Mm-hmm. You know, that's, that's rough. Well, don't they say, like, a like a huge number of murders, like, never get solved? Like, a massive amount? Yeah. I think that's... Oh, my God. I have another story. I know. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that's pretty accurate. But keep, yeah, tell the story. I was just talking to yeah. one of my coworkers once, and she's, um, how do you describe her? She's, she's, uh-huh. she's street worthy. Like, she's street knowledge. Street, like, street, street smart? Yeah, she's street very smart? street smart. Yeah. Okay. She's Hispanic. Uh-huh. And she, and her family, you know, has, you know, she's a very good family. But you know how you mm-hmm. always have, like, certain relatives that have, you know, done things have been in the system or whatever you know she she just knows things anyways Mm -hmm. i was talking to her about um Mm -hmm. you know like how 
uh, yeah. Anyways, I was just talking to her about, yeah, like people getting, you know, killed or whatever. Anyways, she was telling me, like. It's <laughs> a casual conversation. Yes. Yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> people being, you know, murdered. Yeah. Not I a big just, deal. She was just talking about work. Anyways, <laughs> um, but she said something like, yeah. She's like, yeah, girl. Like, a lot of people, a lot yeah. of murders happen or disappearances. Mm-hmm. And people and people just never get found because she basically yeah. said, like, if you don't have a body, yeah, you really don't have, have much. Yeah, like mm-hmm. sometimes people have gotten tried yeah. without bodies. Yeah, but um, it's rare. Yeah, it's yeah. rare. It's when the body gets found, and then you that's know right. that's usually when people will get exactly go to jail for it. That's right. So I think obviously that's why I think a lot that's of people try to get crazy. like rid of bodies and like some, but. A lot of people are successful. Like they wow. show the things that aren't successful. They show, you know, whatever. But mm-hmm. and people getting found. But a lot of times they're not. That's so crazy. It's so crazy to me because I thought they were. I'm like, yeah. This is the 2020. Like I know. it's with cameras and I mean, and I do have to say yeah. I think with technology now, with cameras being on you, phones being tracked. Yeah. I do think it's a lot harder. It's exactly. To That's do right. something bad and get and get That's away right. with it. Mm-hmm. But people um, still do. People do. People do. Time. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. you're right about that. It is probably a lot harder now because yeah, all the time, like there's footage, there's cameras everywhere, mm-hmm. stores or street lights, things like that all mm-hmm. the time. So they can typically catch mm-hmm. your, um, your movements and stuff, but some people do it. Some people get away with it mm-hmm. and it's, it's crazy. And also, um, I mean, I think I heard something about this before and I'm not hundred percent sure how accurate it is. And I don't want to offend any <laughs> police officer or anything, any officers or anything. But I think I, I heard like that there's a lot of pressure for police to actually, um, you know, get a, you know, get a suspect and actually have the person in and actually find them guilty or at least get a suspect in. So because of that, sometimes people are, you know what I mean? That aren't capable of explaining the fact that no, they weren't there. Mm-hmm. Some of them get caught and that's why you have a lot of people that are like wrongfully accused mm-hmm. in jail and stuff like that a lot of times. Okay, you so know? I have to say that's facts. Yeah, I, th- I think I've heard that before. Well, yeah. for sure because yeah. Yeah. And I'm not mm-hmm. saying, and I, trust me, a lot of people in jail like have done it. Yes. And they're guilty. <laughs> There's a lot of people, yes. But I do have to say, like, especially yeah. like a heinous crime or horrendous crime, and they yeah. don't 100% know, like, how do you think the public would feel? Yeah. If yeah. there were so many cases that went unsolved? Like, I'm watching it's Unsolved true. Mysteries and I'm frustrated. That's right. Like, how do they not know? Like, exactly. Da, da, da. Yeah. But you can imagine if it was actually yeah. real, like, oh, all the sure. numbers were real in terms of them not knowing. Yep. People would feel super. Super uncomfortable. Yes, they be would. like, what is law enforcement doing? Like, and it's not their. I'm not saying <laughs> it's, it's their, their yeah, fault. Yeah, for sure, they're doing the best they can. Exactly. I mean, I'm just saying, like, know. things happen. It's yeah. really hard to 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 investigate things and That's right. whatever. Anyway, so yeah, I do think there sometimes, especially if it's like in the media and it's public. Yeah. We as a society need that justice, like, or. Even yeah. or as a community, like you need that sense of safety. Yeah, that's so true. So if something too. crazy happens in your town or your yes. community or whatever, and 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 a murderer, for example, is like walking mm-hmm. around, they haven't found anybody. Yeah, yeah. So I do think sometimes they'll take right. somebody who has maybe a bad reputation. Yeah. Is it able to defend themselves mm-hmm. with money and a lawyer? That's right. And yeah, I do think they go after the wrong people, and I oh, do yeah. think <clears throat> they build a case, and I do think a lot of people. Yeah, they're not right. Definitely about go it. to jail when they haven't done the crime. Exactly. I do think that for sure. Um, I gotta listen to the Zodiac <sighs> story again, mm-hmm. but I think with the Zodiac killer, right? Mm-hmm. If you guys are familiar with that, that person was somebody in San Francisco. Didn't Jake Gyllenhaal? Was, yeah, he did a movie, but uh-huh. but they never caught the Zodiac killer. At oh. least I don't think they ever caught him. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, that's one of the problems. But I think they had a whole bunch of suspects, uh-huh. and I think some of those suspects were really like considered, but I don't know if it panned out. But I, I know for sure that, yeah, they, you know, of course, they, they're going to get suspects because mm-hmm. they're trying to look for stuff. They're trying mm-hmm. to look for inconsistencies. Mm-hmm. And I think for, you know, and it makes sense, like, you're going to want to, like, assume somebody did it rather than not. Because if you're not assuming they did it, maybe then, you know what I mean? Like, you might miss something. But on the flip side, if you assume they did it, you're going to you're gonna put evidence against them. So that's a big problem, too. So And usually somebody know. who they take. I don't know. Yeah. In who didn't do it, but they say they did. Yeah, they'll usually pick somebody with a bad rap, somebody who's been in jail before, somebody who is known to do things to people that are bad. So like, so when they get somebody, you're as a society, as a community, you're like, yeah, they got him. As opposed to like, 
John, you know, John Smith working yep. at um, a Fortune 500 company oh, with yeah. you know, family and no, oh, ne- you know, have never been into jail before. Yep. Like, they're not going to probably pick that guy. You know, yeah. you're going to pick somebody who's been to jail. Before. That's very, very true. I you mean, know? typically, you know. That's what um, they look for, right? Like, when you look say. for a suspect, because they're they, like, who, you know, who, who yeah. you know, who's no, for sure. in and they'll, like, give a list of, anyway. Well, yeah, and I'm, and I'm sure. And I'm saying that, yeah, yeah, and I'm not saying, like, that's not necessarily a good strategy. It was like, yeah. I guess sometimes if you do a horrendous crime, most likely yeah. you've probably done something in the past. That's true. And well, maybe sometimes. in Hong Kong. Not all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know yeah. what you're saying that. But I can yeah. see why they do it. It's like horrendous? The, huh? Horrendous? You said horrendous. 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 <laughs> Horanus. <laughs> horrendous. Horrendous? Horrendous? No, I thought it's horrendous. Horrendous. But isn't there. Uranus? Uranus? Horrendous? Okay, maybe it is horrendous. No, it's not horrendous. It's not Uranus crime? Uranus? No. Okay. Horrendous. No. <laughs> 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 anyway, what is it? Horrendous? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, wait, I'm like, what did you say? I had to think about it for a second. I was like, no, that's not the word. Sorry, but anyways, yes, you're right. Some people would do things over and over again. So it's and like that's, profiling. You do it's have, profiling, you know, like you have sure. to like profile to like figure out that's for sure if you did it. and sometimes that's people sure. you know get anyways sometimes yeah <coughs> law enforcement catches people oh, and yeah. it's right it's ve- sometimes it's not it's a lot of times they catch them wrong i think a lot of times i hear you know but <coughs> probably m- <clears throat> more wrong yeah than we as a society would feel comfortable with probably, if we really yeah. knew yeah but i also think they keep that under wraps right i think the yeah. system is really hard to d- yeah. dissolve People of guilt. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's yes. super hard to dissolve people oh, of guilt. Once, it happens. Yeah, but... once you're guilty, unless they have mm-hmm. like video evidence of like stuff, I mean, even then you might not get out. <laughs> even then mm-hmm. they might be like, well, you got to serve another year at least. Yeah. You, know? you yeah. never know. Uh-huh. So I don't know. Yeah. Uh, or like, yeah. you know, what, making yeah. a murder, that show. Oh, yeah. You can obviously believe what you want to believe, but a lot of people think he didn't do it. He didn't do it. That's Probably right. a perfect example, and it's that's possible right. he didn't, and he's been in jail forever. Him and his, uh, his, his nephew, right? Mm-hmm. Nephew, too, who's pretty clear that guy didn't do anything. It's pretty clear he didn't do anything. <laughs> it's pretty clear he didn't yeah. do anything. Yeah. <laughs> So that's tough. Oh, yeah, I that's agree. tough, you know. If but... you're if you're gonna dissolve one person, it's yeah. gotta be that kid. <laughs> exactly. No way, that's, that's for sure, it. you know. But um, but yeah, but that's the th- but see, this is my whole point with unsolved mysteries. Mm-hmm. How like it's unsolved, so you're like, why? Just accuse someone. Yeah. <laughs> just say he did it. Yeah. <laughs> just like just it. find him. Yeah, yeah. So it's, you can imagine like us much. feeling a little yeah. pressure on the yeah. couch eating chips with our <laughs> hair a, not brushed in, in two days in a robe. <laughs> and you're just like, I can do it. I can figure it out why yeah. can't they? I know who did it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I seen Dexter. I know about the blood splatters on the wall. And then <laughs> <laughs> no. It's I true. Mean, yeah. But see, yeah. that's the thing. It's 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 gotta be if you're a detective, that's got to be an incredibly hard job. Incredibly uh, hard and pressure like everything. Oh, you know? I could yeah. do a det- You have to be really good with detail. Yes. You get those inconsistencies. I think a lot yeah. of people could do it. I'm definitely just not like felt like that. You know? Yeah. Well, they have the movies, though. What movies? I'm trying to think of a particular movie where, like, mm-hmm. There's like no evidence, and then like slowly they start like um, getting all this evidence. Oh, yeah. and it's like, yeah, right. You couldn't figure yeah. out. <laughs> it's like, you know yeah. how they have the movies where they're like, you know, they the 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 um, detective ends up on the crime scene, yeah, and the people are like, there's no gun, there's no, yeah. <laughs> there's no uh, fingerprints, there's no body. Yeah. We don't know this, we don't know that. You know, <laughs> like, right. it could have been this person that lived in another country. <laughs> they don't know anything. And by the end of the movie, they're like. <laughs> The person they, they caught the person. Yeah. The person's admitted it, yeah. and then they kill him. Because <laughs> that person doesn't want to go to jail. Oh, you know what I mean? Because they don't want to go to jail. So there's a fight yeah. scene. So within like two hours, <laughs> exactly. they figured out that's true. There is yeah. a mis- right as opposed to yeah. like years on a case. You know, things yeah. don't get resolved ever. Yeah. And if they do, sometimes it's, it's like f- t- ten years, five years, or yeah. like, it's just years. I mean, exactly. I'm sure things can get resolved super fast, and they do. Oh yeah, there's a lot sure. of evidence, DNA, things like that. Yeah. But um, I'm sure there isn't. What was that movie? Uh, you know what? I can't even go into it because it was, it's not appropriate. What movie? <laughs> uh, you have to tell me the movie though. I, was, I think it was um, uh, super bad. Super bad. 
where mm-hmm. the guy punched. I don't want to go too much into detail about it because it's inappropriate. But when the you know the kid the guy punched McLovin. Yeah. And he said that he couldn't. Um, you know, they couldn't figure out, I can't remember the exact line or the exact, the exact scene, but pretty much they were just like... Oh, he's like, describe him. Yeah, describe him. Or no, no, he oh, was like, right. there's no way to know if that was if, if, who it is unless he like... Oh, put his, yeah, he's like, put his DNA all everywhere. over the situation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He put his DNA everywhere, then for sure we would know who it was. Yeah. <laughs> But but that's true. Yeah, if you're somebody's wearing a mask, like, you can't true. see their car. Yeah, they do. So they they rob a convenience store or something. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like how are you gonna know? How are you gonna know? I mean, there's there was no identity. There's no fingerprint. Yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah. You're not. You know. So yeah, it's crazy. But it's just it's yeah, it is crazy. Like just yeah. with technology now, and like people get yeah. away with stuff still. I know. And these unsolved yeah. mysteries that I want you to just watch it if you haven't already. Yeah. Um, they're from like two thousand. Well, no, some are older, like the one from 1960 yeah. Aliens, but. There's mm-hmm. some of the murders that happened in 2000s or later. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some it's of them not, are. like, old. No, 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 no. A lot of them were, like, 2004. Mm-hmm. I think one was 2004. Mm-hmm. And one was, like, a little early 2003 or something. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, no, it's 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 crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. It's definitely crazy stuff. But mm-hmm. I just I just, I just just find that funny in the movies when they're, they have no evidence, no info, nothing. And then on top of that, the detective's an alcoholic. <laughs> the detective is like has family issues. But you Gerard know what I mean? Butler like, finds him. <laughs> Gerard Butler, Gerard right. Butler gets him. Every I forgot time. about that. Yeah. yeah. What movie was that? Den of um, Wolves. Den of Thieves. Or Den, Den of Thieves. Thieves you know. Yeah, yeah. Or there's another one too. I can't think of it, but like, I think it was like a lady detective, and oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. But it was just it's it's crazy. Yeah. No evidence, and all of a sudden they like you know the person's like admitting it at the end. You yeah, because uh-huh. they always admit it, right? Mm-hmm. They always admit that they did that at the end. Yeah. yeah, and I love the scenes in the movies. I don't know if you guys ever catch this, but like when, like randomly, like somebody will say something like, um, they're talking to the detective and maybe say something like, you know, uh, you know, this like maybe they're at a bar or something. They're mm-hmm. like, yeah, this drink is is good. It's it almost has an it almost has a strong aftertaste. And the detective's like, wait, what'd you say? And they're like, oh, it has a strong aftertaste. And they're like, oh, I'll be back. I gotta go. You know, because they got a clue now in their head. But it's funny to me because it's like, <laughs> and I'm gonna try to explain this, but like when you say like, when you're saying, when you're talking to someone and somebody, well, somebody says that like, it has a strong aftertaste. You don't need to say, what did you say? Because you heard it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's not like, what did you say? They're saying something anymore. Mm-hmm. They repeat it. That's dramatic effect. Yeah, dramatic wait, effect. It's like, wait, say? say that again? Say it again? It was yeah. like, you're right, they did yeah. that. That's true. What's the point? There's no the point in saying that again. Like, what did you say again? Like, oh, it has a bad aftertaste. Yeah, you know? it's totally for drama purposes. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> it is, right? I didn't think about that. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, they, they've solved the whole thing now. You yeah. Know, so. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Yeah, I think we're wrapping it up. Yeah, but we yeah. want you to see it. Let us know what you think about yes. some mysteries. Let us know if you watch it and you see that alien one. What do you think? And let us know if they're out there because that was crazy. Kristen scared. I was scared. <laughs> no, that night. That yeah. night. Can I just quickly tell you about like? I literally was like, I could get abducted right now. I know. Can I tell you one really last crazy Betty uh, story about like? Is it Betty and Barney? I believe. Do you know about them? No, no, it's serious. It's a I serious like. Meant, like um, I thought you meant um, the Flintstones. No, oh, it is. Betty is and Barney it... Rubble. It yeah. is Betty Isn't there a Betty? Rubble. Well, there's a Betty. It's it's a okay. I'm, I may be I'm wrong on the names. Confused right now. I'm wrong on the names, but there was legit like a an a, 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 there was a story of people a couple getting abducted. Okay. It was an interracial couple actually. Mm-hmm. I know. And uh, I know this sounds like a joke, but I'm serious. I need you to know. <laughs> I'm serious. Talk about that. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I thought. <laughs> but anyways, they I think they had like just been married or something like that, but they were driving down a road mm-hmm. and this was like in the sixties too, I think. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, they're driving down the road and I guess they saw a light and then like that's the last thing they remember was seeing this light. Mm-hmm. Um, I think next thing they know, like they're back in they're in the car and like mm-hmm. hours passed and they're like, What happened? Mm-hmm. How did hours pass? What's mm-hmm. going on? Mm-hmm. Like couldn't figure it out. And um I can't remember the exact story, but they had assumed that they had just gotten abducted and like all this stuff. But what's crazy is uh, the husband, uh, they he actually went to a hypnosis and was hypnotized. Mm-hmm. And in the hypnotic state, you know, it's your, I guess you're just, I don't know, it's your, it's your, your subconscious mind essentially or something like that. 
Anyways, but he was like reenacting what happened. So he was like screaming and like tripping out as though like he was there. Like, you know what I mean? So I don't know. It was crazy. I'm just saying. The story. Why aren't you interested? Because like I'm that? scared. Aww. It's scary. It is very scary. Yeah. Well, again, it's this is why scary. they don't want to tell people about like yes. a- aliens or whatever because people. If it's real. unknown. Yeah, if they're if real. They're real. It's unknown, you know, and <laughs> and I was thinking that night, I'm like, gosh, yeah. like if they if people can get abducted, like anybody can. So I think yeah. that's why they that's don't true. want to talk about it because there's a big piece of like, yeah, are you safe? Are you not? You know that kind of thing. That's true. Like, if it's even real, because scre- it could well, be made why up. Why was he screaming? Why wasn't he calm um, during the situation? <laughs> You know, I, I mean, you know, know. like, did it hurt? Like, what was going on? I yeah. don't know. I gotta watch it again. Yeah, I gotta no. watch it again. Well, but leave me with a warm, fuzzy feeling. Well, that's a, this is a good way to end the show. Okay. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> with that discussion, yes, <laughs> I know. No, I, yeah. I agree with you. Definitely crazy. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll take that story back. Just ignore that story <laughs> if it scares you. <laughs> yes. But anyways, and you don't have to believe in it. Yes. Well, see, I, I still question it. I do believe there's something out there, but I'm like, are the abduction stories real, or is it just people trying to get some shine? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. All I know yeah. is, mm-hmm. I don't want to be abducted. I'm scared. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> I don't want to put the energy out. Okay, there. okay, okay, okay. We'll end it right here, guys. We're good. Okay, sorry. I know I was Think about happy things. I was scared, Kath. I'm like, no, we're going to move on from the conversation. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, hope you enjoyed this. We hope you had fun. Yes, we hope you had fun. Sorry we went on a tangent here. Yes. <laughs> and I don't want to scare. I'm scared. Like, honestly, I'm low-key scared right now. <laughs> Kristen's really scared. Yeah, I <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> you should have said, listen, we should have stopped. I, you started And it. then you're like, he was screaming in the, in was, the chair of the hypnosis. And they said it was crazy <laughs> screaming. They had to hold him and I'm joking. <laughs> it's fine. He's okay. He's alive. He's... No, no, he's not alive. What? He's not alive. This was like years ago. Oh, it was this like was like yeah. This back was in like, the day. Yeah, this is like sixty. Okay, well, he and, survived the thing. Yes, he, he, he. He's okay. He, he survived the situation. And he chose to do hypnosis. You don't always have to do that. Of course not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He just wanted Sometimes to ignorance see is if it was yeah, <laughs> right. You know. <laughs> All right, yeah. you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Sharon is caring. Let your friends and family know what the K and J fam are doing. Yes, and until next time, guys. We hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever time it is out there for you. And we will see you next day, tomorrow, some other time with another mukbang. Good night, guys. Have a good night. Peace. Peace out, trouts.